Hello and welcome. Uh, just doing a quick video on my BSPWM, uh, what I've been doing. I spent about an hour on this and uh, I've got a bit of a bombshell at the end of this video to tell you. Uh, but first of all, I'll go over the things that I've changed. Um, so if I open up a terminal here, uh, first of all, I'm still using GNOME Terminal. I've just uh, done some changes so if I go on preferences here um, I don't think anything's changed in text but in colors I've unset use colors from system theme I've set it to white on black I've unticked use transparency from system theme and I've ch checked and selected my own transparency I have disabled the show scroll bar and what else uh, general uh, show menu bar by default in new terminals I've switched that off so it gives a bit of a cleaner cleaner look um, You'll also notice that I have this uh, bar up here now. So this is Yabar, Y A bar. Uh, so if I go to another, go here, go here, uh, you'll also notice that D menu, I've updated that as well. I've just gone for a really clean black and white theme for now. I may change it. Um, yeah, so these are the things I've been looking at. So Yabar, it's um, on Ubuntu, you can just. Uh, sudo sudo apt install yabar yabar ya bar I don't know how you pronounce it but yep it's already installed um, and I'll go into some of the settings of that I've also installed unclutter sudo apt install unclutter and if you don't know what unclutter is it is I've still got this open uh, Linux unclutter Unclutter basically hides the mouse. Um, so if you start typing for whatever reason, or if it's, I think it's terminals and things, I'm not sure how it works, but generally the mouse will disappear when you're not using it, which just kind of gives it a nice bit of a cleaner look. Um, okay, so let's look at some of the configuration. So I guess with the bar, you'll notice that the time's in the middle with a black background. Um, up here I've got the workspace. I don't list all the workspaces, I just say whichever workspace I'm on. And then next to it is the name of the window. So if I open another one here and I cd into config, you'll see up here it tells me what it is. And the same on Firefox, if I go to different pages, it updates with the title of the window. Um, so let's look at, I guess first we'll look at BSPWN config. Um, less config bspwm bspwm so what have i changed in here oh and i've also set a background as well just to be this dark one i found it on unsplash um and if you don't know what unsplash is it's really a really nice website for finding really beautiful images uh that are free to use so yeah there's loads of different things loads of different categories you get some nice yeah it's just that you just get really nice things really nice images from there um so i this was here before so launching the hockey demon then i load yabar y a bar and then i set the background with feh off there then i launch unclutter oh, and i've also installed uh compton as well because it's in the ubuntu repositories i know there's um pika piku pico whatever the replacement for Compton is, whatever the fork of Compton is. Uh, and I've also down here set a rule so that Emacs starts tiled rather than windowed. Uh, and I think, oh, and I've also changed the borders and the gaps. Added padding to the top here, top padding here of 20 pixels because the um, bar is 20 pixels tall. I've reduced the window gap to four because I like a, a narrower gap. And I've also set the normal border color to black and the active to white just to in keeping with the theme and I think that's all I changed there so let's have a look at let's have a look at my I don't think I changed any of my hotkeys did I did I do anything in here oh yep I set D menu good job we checked in here so D menu I've set the font to be the same as the YA bar yeah bar uh, I've set the background to be black I've set the um, font color to be white but then on the highlighted item, I've flipped those two rounds. So if I load it up and I just go through, you just get the opposite, which is quite nice. It's fairly 
fairly simple and i've made sure that it's um set so that it, it um, appears above the bar and it's the same height as the bar behind it so you don't get any like bleed through or borders or anything um so that's that d menu yeah it's i, I actually really like d menu it's very simple i use rofi at the minute or rofi on my main system on i3 but actually d menu it's kind of nice it's simple it does what it needs to do the, the only thing that i wish that it did by default and i know that there are forks for it is i wish that it would um also load aliases not just your path but i know i know you can get around that i just didn't bother okay so that's that okay um let's now go to ya bar yabba yabba go to the config um it's a very simple uh, if you read the man page for Yabba, it's um yeah it gives you examples of what you can do the uh, specific stuff specific monitor things yeah you can be pretty specific um so all i'm doing is i'm saying okay i'm defining i'm saying this is the list of bars you can also have more than one bar so you can have a bottom bar here and have a bar at the top and the bottom if you wanted i've just defined a top bar position is top the height is 20 pixels and then the block list is a uh, yard ws yard title and date and these these here uh, correspond to these these um objects in here in this json like format so they just reference which order these go in uh, i've set the general background color to white uh, no vertical gap underline size i set to one i'm not entirely sure that the underline is working because i think it may actually be set to white i could probably remove that uh, slack size is the space between each item so between uh, you know the edge the one kind of area and then there's five pixels between that where that ends and this block starts um and then yeah setting the font to ubuntu light 10 because it's part of the system so then the title is this bit that says look at luke hyphen focal um and it it executes an internal yaba ya bar um uh c program so this is written in c uh, and I just got this from the example. I thought it'd be cool to have it. Uh, I make sure that the it's aligned to the left of the screen, but because it's um, it comes after the workspace, it's so if you align everything left, depending on this order up here, that's the order that they'll appear. If you align everything right, it will be the opposite order, I believe. Or will it be? I'm not sure. I'm not, I didn't actually check that. So your mileage may vary. Um, so yeah, I'm aligning it left. I'm setting the foreground color uh, to be black and no background color. So it just uses the default white. Uh, I've set it as a fixed size. So that's how wide it is. So I've set it to 300 pixels, which for me is fine. Obviously I didn't have great success with having um, variable widths. So that's something to be aware of. And it's uh, justifying the text left. Otherwise it'll, uh, by default, it'll center the text in the block so within that 300 pixels the text would have been like centered so when it's shorter it's kind of offset and it jumps around which i didn't like so i made sure that it was justified left the workspace again is a built-in workspace it's just a built-in um ya bar yaba um c program uh, again a line left fixed size 40 foreground color it's just black and that all that does is tell you what your active workspace is and it works exactly as you'd expect and then finally, I've added the date here in the middle. And this, the type of this one is set to be periodic. So it basically updates period. I've just noticed that this indentation is completely different. That is annoying. Sorry. Ugh. Um, the, so the type is periodic, which means that it, it polls a certain set interval. And the interval I've set to one second. So every second it updates. And all this does is it just runs the built-in uh, date command. Uh, Linux date command. Um, again, it's aligned center, so rather than left, it's aligned center, so it's in the center of the bar, and it has a fixed size of 150. And you'll notice that it's aligned center, but it isn't affected by anything that's aligned left. So you have to kind of think of them as layers. So if I set this bar to be, you know, 1080, so it was the on 19, 1920. If I set it to be 1920, so the full width of here and it was left aligned and then you align something center it would 
overlap it would go over the top and i think that would depend on this order here as well so i think that's everything that i've done um and you know like just for an hour or so it's been pretty good you know i tried a few different bars but this the ya bar seemed you know pretty decent i'll add a link to the repository in the comment in the description the bspmw config i just used this um this kind of example config just to kind of figure things out uh this is me looking at d menu how i can add, like how i could do it uh, because i did actually add that's a good point actually i did add one alias so um less bash aliases so i added a files alias to open nautilus because it's really annoying i want to just do files but again as i said aliases don't actually work um they don't actually work with d menu so i tried that and then i tried looking up how could i make it work and psh, i just i can't be bothered oh yeah so these are the different so i think one of these i looked at some of these and i think i can't remember which one it is one of these allows you one of these d menu alternatives or scripts that build on top of d menu let you um yeah docs and application shortcuts so maybe this one d menu launch would work and what's this cool i can't i don't know what that is i looked at it for some reason and that's basically it um and having done all that and spending an hour i've decided actually that uh i am going to instead of using bspwm that everyone's using at the minute um and if you look at my other content you know i love emacs and actually someone did suggest to me i can't remember who it was so i'm sorry but exwm so the emacs x window manager i'm actually going to stop using bswm stop trying to set up BS bswm and i'm actually going to try in my next video to get going with exwm there aren't as many videos out there for exwm it's um you know it's a different beast and i mean it's based on emacs i mean look it's emacs it's emacs but a window manager which is fairly exciting so i'm going to try getting that going on ubuntu uh and obviously i'll document what i'm doing as much as i can uh or if i don't document as i do it i'll um i'll do a video afterwards and, and kind of go through what i did so two videos on bspwm and my journey is complete i feel as though you know bswm compared to i3 is it has got a nice config you know the config is cleaner it's nicer but actually because i use i3 the, i don't update my config that often so i don't see the need to have bspwm and something that is like you know clean and whatever because i don't do it that often i don't care it's not enough for me to move over to bspwm like i don't feel as though there's enough differences or haven't noticed enough differences to um kind of lure me over to BSD, bspwm from i3 so i'm going to continue using i3 as my main desktop for now i'm going to try exwm and see if that works better with my workflow because you can um, set global shortcuts that are more emacs like shortcuts which i'm really looking forward to the number of times on my videos i've gone to a web page and i've done Control s to search and forgetting the uh, you know in browsers Control f searches the page and it prompt the pop-up prompt uh, pops up the prompt pops up that's like oh save this web page and I have to cancel and then have to remember the Control f so hopefully with exwm i'll be able to use my kind of daily workflow from working in emacs for the entire window uh my all my window management we'll see how it goes uh, and i'll take you on the journey um thanks everyone who has sub subscribed uh it kind of really um you know helps me with my confidence to do these videos and to to try these things out and just and just just, just kind of go for it and see what happens um if you do enjoy watching my content consider subscribing and liking if this is the first video you've watched i'm sorry that you are interested in bspwm and now i'm just saying eh, i'm not gonna do any more videos on it but such is life um consider subscribing hit the like button do the notify bell thing apparently that's a thing i didn't realize that it was enabled on my channel but i have actually seen in statistics on youtube that uh people have heard about my content from the notification thing so there's that um 
leave a comment below if you want me to cover anything specific if you have any feedback and that's pretty much it i guess uh if you're on uh alternative video platform library uh i'm on there uh there's a link i think i put a link in the description of every video check it if not i'm leak wh on library as well uh even if you are on library now consider uh following and tipping and i think that's it thanks very much for bearing with me and i'm sorry that i'm not doing any more bspwm mm, hopefully the um the emacs windows manager will be interesting and fun don't don't hate on me okay cheers thanks a lot cheers bye